Hey y'all, it's Robert. And I wanted to put this video on for some more rocks that we got from Indian Trace. He has really blessed us with a lot of really nice stuff. He calls it his overflow, but it's good stuff to us. I'm going to start off with some nutting stones. Y'all know as a flint napper, I love these. And then this big one he sent with this. The first one came in a, a package of some other with some other points a while back and I never got it on there. This one right here. And then um, these, which are some pretty material. Some are whole, some are broken. Got some serrations on that one. This one's really nice. It's neat when you can look at it and see how it was hafted and and where they sharpened it down to. Kind of like a, I don't know what you'd call that, a Dixon or an Adena or something. A couple broke triangles. These he even left the, um, where he found them, like Smoke Alley on this one. Looks like a Rowan or however you say that. Kind of looks like a modern day knife blade. Very, very cool. And some Rhyolite. You know they had to hate working that stuff. Look at how it flaked up on them. Still did a good job though. That's a heck of a point. This one from Notchville. And then this uh, Yadkin here with the tip broke. The material on that's really pretty. A big knife blade that's broke. It's funny how many quartz knife blades like that you find that are broken. A little broke triangle. This little fella. Like a little Morrow Mountain type. And then this one, when I seen it, I'll go back to it, that material. This one's really cool too. That's a good one. We found more points in the mailbox in the last year and a half than we have outside. That's for Doug, I'm sure. But this one, I don't know if y'all watched, but um, in an earlier video, he sent all three of my kids points. And uh, they were excited. We made a big video of it and everything. And he included a little for Terry and I. And uh, one of the ones that he sent me was this one. And some may say Clovis or... Swanee or whatever you might want to call it, but it is no doubt paleo. You can see I don't know if you can see that line right there where the Where it was ground to where the blade edge is right here and then the half to the ground parts right there And then it's the same on this side this section right here is ground But I have stared this point down a lot. It's got this cool impact fracture right there from the tip but Look at how close this material is yeah, I'd say that's pretty close. And then he sent this one to Terry. Those, These two were both found on the same site. You can see how thin that base is. Fluted up to right there. Definitely sharpened down. And it's fluted on both sides. You see, you can see pretty good right there how it is. Very, very cool points. They stay together, found together on the same little section, so I keep them together. But either way, as always, thanks y'all for watching, and uh, thanks again to Indian Trace for sending. And if you guys don't have him, I've said it before, you got to get him on there. Good insight and finds a lot of really great stuff. So as always, thanks again, y'all, for watching.